So uh, I was scrolling through the news the other day and I saw this headline and it really kind of caught my eye. Mm. It was talking about radiation levels mm. spiking to like 3,000 CPM oh, Wow! in parts of America. Uh. And I don't know about you, but that sounds kind of scary. It, yeah, 3,000. Uh, 3, a lot. Five. Yeah. So what does that even mean? Right. What is the CPM anyway? Yeah. So that's what we're going to dive into today uh, to get to the bottom of what these numbers really tell us about this situation. Great. Yeah, I'm I'm happy to dive into that. Awesome. Um. So CPM stands for counts per minute. Okay. And it's basically a measurement of how many radioactive particles a Geiger counter is picking up. Yeah. Now, we're always surrounded by a certain level of radiation. Right. It's naturally occurring right. in our environment. That's called background radiation. Right. And that usually sits somewhere between 5 and 60 CPM. Okay. So, you know, a jump to 3,000 yeah. is definitely something to look at. So, 3,000 CPM is way higher than normal. But what does that actually mean for our health? Like, are we all in imminent danger? Well, not necessarily imminent danger. Okay. But it is a serious situation. Okay. And to understand why we need to talk about sieverts. Sieverts. Yeah. So while CPM measures the number of radioactive particles, right. sieverts measure the absorbed dose. Okay. Um, the amount of radiation that actually gets into your body. Right. And has the potential to cause harm. Okay. So it's not just about how much radiation is out there, uh -huh. it's how much our bodies are actually taking in. Okay, so it's not just about how much radiation there is, but how much we're absorbing. Exactly. Yeah. You can think about it like sunlight. Okay. We're all exposed to sunlight every day. Sure. But, you know, a short walk on a cloudy day yeah. is very different from, you know, spending hours sunbathing on the beach. Right, of course. Similarly, a high CPM might sound alarming, mm -hmm. but the real question is how much of that radiation are you absorbing and for how long? That's where sieverts come in. Okay. They help us understand the potential biological impact. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. But still, 3,000 CPM you mentioned, it's serious. Right. What does that level of exposure mean for our health? Well, we know that even lower levels of radiation, if experienced over long periods, can accumulate. Okay. And cause damage. Right. And there's a really interesting study from MIT okay. that highlights this. Uh -huh. Researchers found that prolonged exposure to levels above 1,000 CPM right. significantly increases your risk of developing certain cancers and other health problems. Oh, wow. They found that for every 1,000 CPM increase, right. the risk of some cancers jumps by almost 10%. 10%. Wow. That's a lot. Yeah, and they believe this is because radiation can damage our DNA over time. Okay. Leading to mutations that can trigger cancer cell growth. So even though it's not like an immediate threat, like a nuclear blast, right. that gradual exposure can still lead to serious long-term consequences. Exactly. And it's not just the long-term risks we have to be aware of. Right. There's another study. Okay. This one from the University of Tokyo. Mm-hmm. And they looked at what happens when someone is exposed to high levels of radiation okay. for a shorter period of time. Uh -huh. And they found that 3,000 CPM could potentially trigger something called acute radiation syndrome, or ARS. I've heard of that. Yeah. That sounds pretty scary. Yeah. What exactly is ARS? Well, it's essentially a collection of symptoms uh. that appear after a high dose of radiation exposure. Right. Um, it can range from mild things like nausea and vomiting okay. to more serious issues like fatigue, mm -hmm. hair loss, internal bleeding. Wow. And in very severe cases, ARS can even be fatal. That's scary. Yeah. So with these high CPM readings, what can people do to protect themselves? Well, the good news is that there are steps we can take to mitigate the risks. Okay. The source material we've been looking at suggests a number of safety measures, mm -hmm. including stowing indoors as much as possible okay. to limit your exposure. Makes sense. Wearing protective gear, what? like masks and gloves if you have to go outside, Okay. and avoiding any areas that are known to be contaminated. Right. So it's not all doom and gloom. Yeah. There are things that we can do yeah. to minimize the risk. Absolutely. And it really highlights the importance of staying informed. Yes. Paying attention to official guidelines from health authorities right? Yeah. and taking appropriate precautions. Couldn't agree more. So to kind of bring it all together, yeah. 3,000 CPM mm -hmm. is a serious situation. Yes. It's not something to be dismissed. Nope. Um, while it's not the same as an immediate blast of radiation, right? prolonged exposure at this level can have long-term consequences yes. for our health, including an increased risk of cancer. Uh-huh. And... You know, understanding the difference between CPM and sieverts is crucial. Right. It allows us to move beyond just the scary number 
Yeah. And actually understand what the potential impact on our bodies is. I agree. And while it's important to acknowledge the danger, it's also important to remember that we can take concrete steps to protect ourselves. Right. And minimize the risk. Absolutely. So as we wrap up, here's a question I think is world pondering. Okay. How might this deeper understanding of CPM and sieverts yeah. and what those numbers really mean change how we interpret other news about radiation in the future? Hmm. That's a good question. Yeah. It's something I'll definitely be thinking about. Yeah, me too. So until next time, stay curious and stay safe. Stay safe, everybody. Or stay safe. Bye. Bye. Bye.